Hey, Ron here from Military Images Magazine with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. You know, I spend most of my mornings in the 19th century looking through books and documents, a lot of digital material, searching for facts, searching for clues, seeking out information about long lost soldiers from the Civil War period and sailors and civilians, that entire generation. Part of what I do involves unidentified soldiers and we collect their faces, we focus on them in the magazine and we're always hoping that we identify them and the classic network of collectors and other students of the Civil War have been helping us do that since the magazine was founded in 1979. In 2018, a new bit of technology came along called Civil War Photo Sleuth. I'm willing to bet that a number of you, especially collectors, are familiar with this tool, this online app. It's free publicly available, and it was founded by Kurt Luther, who is an associate professor of computer science at Virginia Tech. He's uh, um, the director of the Crowd Intelligence Lab, which uses artificial intelligence and classic crowdsourcing tools to find information about Civil War faces. The idea uses face recognition technology, and it is amazing what it can do. I know from talking to Kurt, by the way, he's a columnist for Military Images Magazine. I've seen and heard about and have had some experiences myself of uploading a photo to CivilWarPhotoSleuth.com and having that incredible moment when an image that has been lost in time, or at least the identity has been lost in time, is all of a sudden reunited with the name. And that's not, that's not all that happens. Once you have that name, it opens up a whole door into being able to research that individual, to find out their story, to find out what happened to them, and really to find out what happened to us. Because that soldier, that sailor, that civilian their history is part of our history and helping to know them and to understand them, whether it's the sacrifices they made or the decisions they made, helps us learn about ourselves and what we're going to be doing as we move forward in this generation and future generations. So that's my pitch for Civil War Photo Sleuth. Today, I want to tell you that I spent a lot of time with a new face recognition model They've been using the same face recognition model since 2018, and recently they have announced and have made available a new model, and this new model uses different algorithms and different uh, technologies built into it to be able to measure faces in different and hopefully more accurate ways. So I've tested it over the last week or so and spent a lot of time with it this morning. I think it's really fascinating. We have the ability or you have the ability in the app to be able to toggle back and forth between the old model and the new model to be able to see how the two face recognition technologies handle the faces that you see. So I went through several images this morning and a number of other ones over the last week or so. And my, my big takeaway so far is that the new model, um, the results, there are usually far fewer results, sometimes on a scale of tenfold, like 15 to 150. But I'm also finding that that 15 tends to be more, to, to more closely resemble the face that I uploaded. So it's really kind of interesting to see how that's working. Of course, there is something valuable about the old model because you get a lot more results. And so as you're scrolling through the results and it starts out with the closest look to the a less closer look as you scroll down, it's helpful to be able to look through all the faces and you get to compare the eyes, the nose and the mouth 
I mean, there's so much that artificial intelligence can do by delivering the results, but you need the human eyes and brain to be able to look at the faces and discern all of the characteristics of which there can be micro differences to be able to say, wow, that looks like the person, but it's not quite, or look at it and say, wow, that really is the person and we have a match. So it's really powerful stuff. And I should mention too, that not only are you getting the face recognition technology, the interface is also capturing details of the soldier. For example, if the soldier has shoulder straps on his uniform or stripes on his cuff or particular numbers on his cap, this is evidence, is what the Civil War photo sleuth folks call it. This evidence, what you see, becomes evidence to be able to help when you're doing searches to be able to not only match the faces, but then you can see, for example, if this person had sergeant's chevrons and the image you just uploaded looks very close to the same soldier and also has sergeant's chevrons, it's a valuable clue to help you do your research. So it's really an interesting, it's, it's more than, an, than a photo ID tool. It's a research tool as well. You can go in there and spend time with it. So even if you don't have a photograph to upload and you just want to explore and find out what soldiers were, wear, were wearing, how they wore things, if you're a reenactor, if you study uniforms, if you're just generally interested in Civil War soldiers um, on both sides, north and south, you can go to Civil War Photo Sleuth and look through images, do various searches, see what a private looked like, a sergeant looked like, a major looked like. It really helps you get a sense of how that generation looked when they were actually in the war. And one last thing I'll say about this is these images. Oh, actually, there's two more things I want to say. The first thing I want to say is these images are unique. They're not the images that you're going to find out there that were taken by Matthew Brady, although Matthew Brady did make portraits. Uh, these are not the well-known battlefield photographs, but they're the lesser known images that were in family photo albums and only seen by a small group of folks. The last tidbit I want to leave you with is the mission of Civil War Photo Sleuth, because I think it speaks to uh, the drive and the passion of Kurt Luther and his team over at Virginia Tech, who are doing such wonderful things for collectors, for historians, and for Americans who are interested in learning about their history. And here's that mission. It is to rediscover the lost names and stories of every photo every photo of American Civil War soldiers and sailors. Tens of millions of portraits were created during the war and millions survive today, but only an estimated 10 to 20% are identified. We have our work cut out for us, but with your help, we can do it. So go to civilwarphotosleuth.com, sign up, it's free, just have to register and upload a photo or look through the photos and see if you can help identify a soldier or a sailor. Take care.